Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you another mega aggressive attacking game. With the white pieces playing Czech chess grandmaster Lyubomir Kavalek and his opponent is Soviet chess master German Hodos. The game was played in 1965 in Sinaya, which is a town in Romania. But before starting our game, as usual, would like to warm up your brain, please take a look at this position, which is taken from David Bronstein's game. In this position, David Bronstein, who was playing with the black pieces, made a move and white resigned. Post the video, find the winning move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Back to our main board and now, without further ado, let's go for our game and see what happened on the board. Kavalek opened up with e4 and Hodos responded with Sicilian defense, c5, knight f3, e6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4 and a6. Hodos is choosing the Khan variation. With this move, black prevents knight b5 jump and is preparing an eventual b5 advancement. Here we have knight c3, queen c7, bishop e3, knight f6, bishop d3, b5. In here the most solid moves are castling kingside or f4, but in this position Kavalek made a very aggressive move and he played e5. Look at this pawn sacrifice, but let's see, where is white's compensation? Queen takes e5 was played with queen f3, d5 and white castled queenside. With this move Kavalek unpinned the bishop and already bishop f4 is the threat. For example, if a move like bishop b7, then white can play bishop f4. Of course, the knight on d4 is untouchable because of this bishop takes b5 check. And if a move like queen h5, then knight takes b5 can be very strong. And actually, white is managing to launch a very dangerous attack. Black is in trouble. That's why after castling queen side, black played bishop d6, acted against bishop f4 threat. And there it goes, this time we have g4. Bishop b7, on the surface this looks like a normal developing move, but after this move Black is starting to face serious problems. Instead of bishop b7 it was better to play h5. And now if h3 then only now Black can go for bishop b7. Already the pawn is on h3, there are no queen h3 moves and everything is okay with Black's position, but after g4 we have bishop b7 straight away and there it goes queen h3. White is freeing this f3 square for the knight and knight f3 is the threat in order to trap Black queen, also f4 can be a very nice threat. Here Black played bishop e7, free to this diagonal for the queen and there it goes f4, queen c7, this time we have g5, yes, Gradually white's attack is becoming very scary. Knight e4 was played, we have bishop takes e4, d takes e4 and this time we have g6. White is not giving black time to castle king's side. F takes g6 was played and as the pawn on e6 is no longer protected we have knight takes e6, queen c8 and f5. Now if g takes f5 then white can capture on g7 and then play bishop h6. That's why after f5 black played king f7, but this is a desperate attempt and won't save black. In here we have f takes g6 check, h takes g6, as white managed to open up the f file, the rook is also joining the attack, yes, as I love to mention, when you are attacking, all your pieces must join the party. Bishop f6 was played, which allows white to checkmate black king in 4 moves. Well, king g8 could allow black to prolong his resistance, but even in this case, white has a very dangerous attack, a huge advantage, and black won't manage to save this position. But in our game we have bishop f6, and as we have reached the critical position, please pause the video and try to find the mating line for white. Ready? Here, Kavalek first played knight g5 check, and after king g8, well, if king is 7 then this time this beautiful deflecting sacrifice can finish up black king. Now if you move away your queen from h3 c8 diagonal then queen e6 is coming followed by queen f7 checkmate. In our game after knight g5 check we have king g8 but in here 
We have another powerful deflective move. This time Kavalek played rook d8 check and black resigned. Now if queen takes d8 then again white queen is managing to penetrate black's camp and is announcing a checkmate. And if a move like bishop takes d8 then in this case as the bishop is blocking the 8th rank this time white can go for this spectacular queen sacrifice and if king takes h8 then rook f8 checkmate a very neat and instructive combination and actually this line with queen sacrifice is simply astounding that rook d8 was a very strong one thanks for watching if you liked this game give the thumbs up for more games consider subscribing to my channel also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads i will see you in my next video good luck